Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm the Digital Empress, aka Taylor. I'm back with Advent of Cyber Day 3 with Try Hack Me. This video is going to be up kind of late because um, I was trying to read the Bug Bounty Bootcamp book so I can get, you know, caught up with Chapter 3 for today being the third day. But I was up all night binge watching Euphoria while I typed day 45 and day 46 blogs for my 100 days of InfoSec challenge. But as far as the Bug Bounty Boot Camp, um, the book for chapter one is taking us through how to pick a bug bounty program, how Hacker One and Bug, bug Crowd is like the biggest. Uh, programs that you can go through to you know get access to programs and then there's a few other programs um, and then there's different types of assets that you can uh, be able to uncover in certain bug bounty programs like uh, websites um, I think it's websites web applications and like files and stuff like that and then according to what your skill level is and your experience and your preference, uh, you would pick a bug bounty program based on those uh, different things. Chapter two is sustaining your success about writing a good report. And then chapter three is how the internet works. And then tomorrow, hopefully I can go through with you guys in setting up our environmental setup and traffic interception and we'll be setting up burp um setting up a browser and a proxy embedded web browser firefox and they're basically going to be showing me how burp works even though try hack me has already showed me how burp works but i'm just going to solidify it more in this book so yeah that's basically what i've been reading so far in this I'm taking notes still from chapter one to chapter three and I'm going to be writing my first Twitter newsletter um, including this information and then I'm going to be writing um, a blog post as well on this information more thorough blog, blog posts but yeah that's that's the updates for this one I'm still reading still catching up still taking notes I promise I'll get on track hopefully by tonight i'll probably be finish uh i'll finish binge watching euphoria and um reading this and taking notes okay let's hop into the try hack me day three challenge i've already watched the video the walkthrough and i've already read the learning objectives and all of this um, today we're going to be using our investi investigatory skills. Have you ever heard that word, babe? What's the word? Investigatory? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's what you need to basically, like, to find things up. Investigate. Yeah, investigate. I don't know why they just couldn't say investigation skills. No, it's investigatory. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's not? No. Let me see. Investigatory is like a, it's like a big, it's like a cloud of, it basically. Oh, is investigation is like is, one it's single. A, it derives off of. It's, it says investigatory means the same as investigative. Investigation. Investigative. Yeah. They're the same thing. To examine, study, or inquire into systematically search or examine into particulars, examine in detail investigative it's the same thing it's just spelled different anyways <laughs> and techniques to discover unlisted content and attempt some common authentication using the clues around us we're going to be finding admin panels today for our hacking challenge in this challenge they use the they use word lists against the tool Durbuster and I'm trying to see if that is in here 
Yeah, so Dirt Buster is in Cali. Oh, and someone asked me, Aaron, shout out to Aaron and the Empire Study Group, why do I log in through Cali and connect my VPN through there? Because I'm just so used to being in Cali for this type of stuff. Um, and then it gives me like a sense of like, um, my Mac is more for like personal writing, blogging business. And then Cali, my Cali machine is more for like pen testing, book bounty, all of that stuff. Um, so it kind of separates my work in a sense. This is my pen testing workspace. And then my MacBook is like my personal blogging, editing, all of that workspace. So this is the graphical interface version of Dirt Buster, I'm guessing. Oh, watch Dirt Buster. But there is a command line version. In this walkthrough, they're basically explaining how you can find certain content um, for websites. So say, for instance, like Twitter, um, when you go to the login page, you just kind of see the login. But there's like hidden sites that are stored on the server. Uh, Sorry, there's hidden sites like the admin panel. Um, if you're like a blogger like me, like Squarespace, I use Squarespace to host my website and blog. Um, I wouldn't want anybody to be able to log into my admin panel and manipulate my website and get access to my passwords and private information. So this is basically showing us in this to in this walkthrough how to do that. You can also get access to configuration files, uh, passwords and secrets, like I said, backups, content management systems, and administrator dashboards, dashboards or portals. So these are a few of the default credentials that they use on um, certain admin systems, admin portals, um, and that hackers will use to be able to log into those admin portals if they are able to find um, that certain site on the server that is hosted in the admin portal. So here's more about the admin portal and then more resources on content discovery and authentication. I want to see what this is. All right, let's get to the questions. There's only three questions today, which is great because it's about to be eight o'clock and I still have to edit this video. So let's get through them. So it says, first question says, use a common word list for discovering content. Enumerate HTTP dot machine IP to find the location of the M administrator dashboard what is the name of the folder so i'm gonna try and answer these without clicking the hints and without re-watching the video and if i get stuck then i'll use those so let's see if i can remember what she did and then i can also i'm gonna look through here to see um just to kind of follow up on stuff that i need to do so I'm going to start the machine and we have to wait a bit. We have to wait like 54 seconds for us to give us, or a minute to give us our IP address for the machine. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to connect to my VPN. Okay, I'm connected. And I still have my IP address. Great. My IP address is 10.10.83. .10 Does it say at the top? Okay, good. It says at the top there. Okay. So it says use a common word list for discovering content to find the administrator. So I remember reading that segments also provide a word list for default credentials. Um, I'm gonna go to this site. And 
we're going to get this. Okay, that one works. Okay, we're done. Okay, six is master. I think we found the word list that we need to use discovering content. Okay. CD web content list. Okay. What do we want to use? Oh, there's so many. I don't know what to use. Let's try. Let's try common. Common. There we go. Okay, there's some admin stuff in there. Administrator admin. Okay. There we go. All right. So let's see how we're gonna type this. If I do it this way. Why does it keep going that way? Okay. Can I just run it against? Uh, txt oh i can i can ah, look at that now we wait okay we got admin i don't think we have to keep doing it here because they said to try to find the administrator dashboard so Let's try this. Oh, and we found it. Okay, what is the name of the folder? The name of the folder is admin. Okay, just admin. Three day streak. We got it. In your web browser, try some default credentials on the newly discovered login form administrator. What is the password? So let's do administrator, administrator. Administrator, and admin, I hope I spelled this right. And we have logged in, yay! We've gotten in guys, we've gotten in. Okay, what's the next question? And your world, okay, we got it. What is the password? It is administrator. Access the admin panel. What is the value of the flag? Oh, admin access. Well, that was fun. I did it with no hints and without watching the video again. Just one time in some reading. Oh, I want to show you guys really quick. Okay, so this is my blog um, board on Asana. Uh, these are all the 
the blogs that I've written this year, plus ones that I did not put in here uh, prior to day 19. But I have finally gotten out of the recon section. These are all the recon tools that, yeah, this is where I started day 30. And then um, I went through and like, talked about all the different tools that I, recon tools that I've learned uh, like DNS, DNS recon DNS enum enum for Linux um, HP 3 dot dot pond goalless marrow automator net mask all of these and then I just posted a blog for day 45 um, about Dimitri URL scanner and find admin panel um, let's bring that up really quick Hmm. So this is my recent blog post on that. And let me find the tool. Oh, so these are more admin panel finders. And then I tested it on Facebook, admin panel finder dot I do want to try the I want, oh, look, I want to try, let's try this. I want to try this really quick. Let's see. I want to try. Let's see if it'll find it. If this will find the admin uh, panel. Okay, clear. Um, CD. I'm gonna change to that directory. Python admin underscore panel dot finder dot. Okay, let's try this. Find it ten dot ten dot eighty two dot. Oh, it found it. <gasps> oh my God. Wow. That quick. That was quicker than the other one. Let's see how long it takes to finish. That was so much quicker. Oh my God. And let's see if it works. Yep. So there's another tool that you guys can use. You don't have to use a word list. So here's another tool that you guys can use. There's tools that will, that are built specifically for certain um, information gather, gathering. And if you read my blog post, I direct you to the course that I'm using to learn these different tools. And that's how I knew about this. So yeah, just try this as well if you want to um, um but yeah, it works. yeah so it happy. works i'm so happy hopefully um, hopefully for other um for other challenges i can use other, can use other tools, tools from that course but um but that's um all that's all that i have tonight for tonight, for tonight. i hope you guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed um, i will see you um, tomorrow, will see you tomorrow or, or day four, day four.